Welcome back. All right, so pretty big trade going down in the National Hockey League today uh, as we get closer to the trade deadline. And Brandon Hagel, who had shown up on some trade lists uh, as, as being available, well, Chicago gets back a pretty good haul. So I'm wearing a Blackhawks jersey for this because I like what they get back for Hagel, but I also could have worn a Tampa jersey for this because I like what Tampa does here too. Tampa Bay is always going to be up against the cap, right? So what are you looking for right now if you are the GM at the deadline? You want players back that can help you now, and if they have term, that works out. It worked out with Barkley Goudreau, it worked out with Coleman, and now they're taking that chance with Brandon Hagel. Interestingly enough, he's only 23 years of age, so there are Chicago fans who are legit upset right now because Hagel was seen as being one of those young forwards that could lead them through what they're going through now, and once they're back in the playoffs, Hagel was seen as potentially being a big part of that. So 21 goals, 16 assists for Hagel this year in 55 games. I have always been impressed by his work ethic. He's absolutely fantastic out there. There have been games where I've talked about how good he has been, even though he didn't get a goal or an assist that night. And he is that kind of player. Uh, he will be very popular in Tampa. That $1.5 million cap hit will make him very popular with management through until 2024. And again... He could potentially be a 30-goal scorer. He could potentially be, at the very least, a 20-goal scorer over a full season in Tampa. But again, that 21 goals in 55 games tells you, hey, he's 23. There's the potential there for a 30-goal season at some point. So also going with Hagel to Tampa are two fourth-round picks. One in 2022, one in 2024. One thing that's delayed this video a bit is uh, waiting to see what, what parts were being moved back and forth. Used to do trade trade videos before all the details were known, and I found that that was more of a hassle than anything, so now I just wait till all the details are known. And so go, going back to Chicago, you have Taylor Radish, who's 24 years of age, five goals and seven assists in 53 games. Boris Kachuk, 23 years of age, two goals, four assists for six points in 38 games. 25 penalty minutes for Kachuk as well. Uh, their numbers are going to be better, I would think, in Chicago than they were in Tampa. They're going to get more of an opportunity to play. I think Kachuk will be very popular in Chicago. Uh, and, and Radish, I think there's a little bit of upside there uh, offensively as well. So you're not getting old players back in exchange for Hagel. You're not getting back a potential 30-goal scorer. But you are getting back a first-round draft pick next year and a first-round draft pick the year after that. So for Tampa Bay mortgaging those first round draft picks to try to win that third straight Stanley Cup makes a lot of sense. They got Corey Perry on a really good deal. Hagel's on a good deal here. Honestly, uh, if they keep making smart moves like this, they may be able to skirt around the cap uh, for years to come and remain in, at the level of contenders. I really like this deal for both teams. It kind of feels like a hockey trade because we're not seeing a rental here. These aren't rentals. And it's draft picks going back and forth. And it's a lot of assets, right? So I, I like the trade a lot. And again, Hagel uh, probably was my favorite Chicago Blackhawk this year. Not named Alex Dabrinkit. Dabrinkit's fantastic. But it will be interesting to see how he does in Tampa. And again, it's, it's the fact that he has those two extra years. Tampa's willing to give up first round draft picks for the cap certainty next year and the year after. And this really helps them out with that. So both teams benefit. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.